ഓം ശ്രീ വിഘ്നേശ്വരായ നമഹ വെൽക്കം ടു ദി അസ്ട്രോളജി പ്രോഗ്രാം ഓർ അ ജ്യോതിഷം പ്രോഗ്രാം വി ആർ ടുഡേ ടേക്കിംഗ് ഇൻ ടു കൺസിഡറേഷൻ ദി ഇമ്പാക്ട് ഓഫ് ദ ട്രാൻസിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ജൂപ്പിറ്റർ ഇൻ ദി ടു തൗസൻഡ് ട്വൻറ്റി ത്രീ ഓൺ മീനം രാശി വി കൺസിഡർ ഓൺലി ദി മൂൺ സൈൻ നോട്ട് ദി സോളാർ സൈൻ സോ മൂൺ സൈൻ മീനം രാശി ദർ ആർ ത്രീ നക്ഷത്രം ത്രീ നക്ഷത്രസ് ഇൻ മീനം രാശി വൺ ഇസ് പുരുരുട്ടാദി ദെൻ ഉത്രിട്ടാദി ആൻഡ് ഓൾസോ രേവതി പൂർവ ഭാദ്രപാത ഉത്തര ഭാദ്രപാത ആൻഡ് രേവതി ത്രീ നക്ഷത്രസ് ആർ ദർ ഇൻ മീനം രാശി ഹൗ ദീസ് ത്രീ നക്ഷത്രസ് ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി എഫക്റ്റഡ് ബൈ ദി ട്രാൻസ്ലിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ജൂപ്പിറ്റർ ഇൻ ടു മേഷം രാശി ഓർ എറി സൈൻ basic horoscope is very important what dasha you are running is very important what sub period you are running is very important along with that the present transit should be balanced in such a way that uh, better outcome uh, can be expected that is better prediction or better reading can be expected so you have to check your horoscope whether you are running a good dasha or a good abahara along with that when you add uh, the effects of the transit uh, jupiter it is uh, going to come more correct that is uh, your dasha effects will come more correct suppose you are running uh, not so a good period and uh, if jupiter is in a very good position uh, the bad effects of the dasha and abahara will be less suppose you are uh, experiencing a very good dasha very good abaharam that is sub period plus a very good transit of jupiter that is into the second house for meenam rashi it is into the second house second house is uh, actually dhanam vaka kudumba vidyasthanam dhanam as you know uh, it is uh, income factor vaka the word uh, uh, vidya vidya means education kudumba kudumba is family vaka and vidya are both are uh, interconnected as well education higher education that is the uh, fourth aspect so how it is going to be affected and it transits into the second house generally favorable uh, results can be expected if you are uh, running a good dasha and abaharam according to your horoscope for the last uh, few years you might have been experiencing a lot of cash drain and uh, uh, when you have cash drain what is going to happen is that uh, you won't be able to spend it for uh, certain uh, essential things or something which you have desired to purchase so things are uh, smoothening or uh, loosening up and uh, you will have more income and you will be able to exercise your desires in a proper way in the uh, by the end of the year 2023 or in the early part of 2024 so better things can be expected income wise especially when you are running a very good dasha and abaharam in your horoscope suppose you are not having a very good dasha or abaharam in your horoscope like that of shani that is saturn or rahu or ketu in your horoscope again uh, uh, the bad effects of these uh, dasha and abahara will be reduced because uh, the transit of jupiter is into the second house when it is it comes to the second house good effects can be uh, expected even if you are running not so good a period according to the basic horoscope the bad effects will be reduced and if you have the right prayers and if you are doing the parihara the bad effects of particular dasha and abaharam can be reduced substantially because we believe in parihara according to the indian tradition it is entirely different from the western tradition according to indian tradition when a plan planet is transiting into a particular house and when you are uh, having a particular dasha or abahara it only indicates it only indicates that certain things might happen positive or negative but you can avoid all these things by proper remedial measures inexpensive remedial measures you need not spend uh, a lot of cash and all that what you have to do uh, according to the vedic culture is this japa dhyana di japa dhyana di you have to chant certain sutras and mantras every day facing eastern direction that is the chanting factor you have to have darshan of certain deities you have to go to temple and be there for at least 48 minutes that is one muhurta kalam and chant certain stotra and mantras and you if you can do abhishekam and the like in that particular temple it is going to benefit you a lot but you should be there tuning yourself to get the blessings of the almighty from that particular temple so you have to condition yourself you have to tune yourself how can you tune yourself very simple when you are chanting mantras and stotras your mind will be tuned to receive the blessings and uh, better things can be expected so generally a slightly better period can be expected from june 2023 onwards by the end of the year 2023 
uh, this Rashi, that is Meenam Rashi people, will find themselves in a slightly better position. But exceptions to those who had great debt in the past. If you are having great debt in the past, you have to do very specific and very hard remedial measures. You have to chant uh, a particular stotra, Mahalakshmi stotram, that is Kanaka Thara stotram, every day facing eastern direction. You have to chant it nine times on, and on Fridays you have to chant it 27 times. That's a must. If you are having a heavy debt in the past, but Jupiter has come to a better position, so the chances are that the debt will come down. When you are facing such a situation with heavy debt in the past, in order to reduce it properly and in order to smoothen the uh, income flow, what you have to do is to chant this particular stotra every day with utmost devotion. Keep uh, a chitram or a picture of uh, Mahalakshmi before you and have a sangalpa of Mahalakshmi in your inner level and chant this particular stotram. Angam Hare Pulaka Pushana Masrayandi Bringanga Neva Mukula Bharanam Tamalam Angi Krita Kila Viputira Pangalila Mangalya Adas Tumama Mangala Devataya Oh, it goes on like this. So chant with utmost devotion, visualizing the rupam, the chitram of Mahalakshmi in your mind and the income flow will be smooth and you'll be in a slightly uh, comfortable position emotionally as well. In the immediate past, uh, probably you had a lot of tension. Uh, the education of your children might have met uh, with some tensions or problems. Uh, they might have uh, developed some sort of indifference in academics or they might be spending a lot or if uh, you have grown up children, probably they might be meeting with a, a lot of tension uh, in order to get married or in their uh, marital life. All these problems uh, can be solved very easily. What you have to do is uh, Sarpa Preeti. You have to do Sarpa Preeti. Visit a Nagaraja Chetram uh, nearby, Nagaraja temple uh, nearby, especially on Ailyam uh, Nakshatram, Ashlesha Nakshatram. Be in the temple for at least three muhurtam. Three muhurtam means one muhurtam is 48 minutes. And be inside the temple for three muhurtam and chant Sri Nagaraja Ashtottara Sharanamavali every day at least three times. And on that particular day of Ailyam, when you are inside that particular temple, you can chant it 27 times and uh, Nagaraja, Nagayakshi, Nagachamundi will bless you and uh, problems regarding children will be easily solved and you'll find yourself in a very happy uh, position or in a relaxed, a relaxed position. So that is what will happen when you are chanting this Nagaraja Ashtotara Shatanamavali. And when you are chanting this, you will get peace of mind also because you might have been uh, running some sort of tension, some sort of insecurity due to irrational causes, and mainly because of the, the cash related tension and uh, also the Sandhati Bhavam related tension. You might have been uh, experiencing some sort of mental tension and disturbed sleep in the past. So this can also be solved during the year 2023-24 when you are observing this Pariharam in a very systematic way, in a very devoted way, without break. What you have to notice is whenever you are doing a Pariharam, whenever you are doing a chanting, you are not supposed to break it. Uh, in between, you are not supposed to get up and go for some other uh, activities. One, uh, then whatever be the Ashuddhi, you have to continue with your chanting. Whatever be the Ashuddhi, uh, that is immaterial. When you are going on with your chanting, what will happen is that uh, that vibrations will reach uh, the desired level and blessings of uh, Devi uh, Mahavishnu will be there and you will be able to solve all problems. Nagaraja will all the time uh, be with you with the blessings of energy, drive, enthusiasm 
and when you have energy drive and enthusiasm you'll be very active and uh, small uh, business people like marketing uh, people marketing people uh, and uh, who deal with general public including film actors or uh, film personalities and also television personalities all these people will be having better opportunities during 2023 and in the early part of 2024 and they will have a sigh of relief and they'll be in a comfortable position and their fame will increase but these pariharams are very important why the pariharam is very important mainly because you are uh, running seven and a half year period of saturn as well it has just started that is we are what we call as edadashani and when you are experiencing when you are having this edadashani or a, or the seven and a half year period of saturn whatever good that comes to you will meet with a lot of obstacles before it reaches you there will be initial problems and tensions when you are having a seven and a half year period of uh, Saturn. And what you will do because of that excitement or uh, rather some sort of depression which might set uh, upon your mind. Oh, uh, there is no point in uh, trying for this. You will ignore that and you will lose that opportunity. Never be like that. Cultivate a very positive mind even though you are running seven and a half year period of Saturn. The blessings of Jupiter is there. And so you will be able to do your work your course in a better way and you are likely to get admission to higher courses and better courses within the country and outside the country for marriage purposes also a better period not a very good period but a better period is in the offing and uh, after the initial obstacles your marriage is also uh, likely to be solemnized so what you have to do is this you have to uh, have darshan of mahadeva every day every day if possible and on sundays and mondays it's a must that you should be in a Mahadeva temple uh, and you pray to Mahadeva and Goddess Parvati and whatever that was there as an obstacle in your marriage will just vanish and you will get a very good marriage as well. So 2022-23 uh, the uh, impact of Jupiter or uh, Vyaya Parchi on Meenam Rashi is relatively positive. Not very positive but relatively positive. Why not very positive? Because you are running the seven and a half year period of Saturn. So whatever you are going to get will mean meet with uh, some obstacle in the beginning and later on the obstacles will just fade and you'll receive what you deserve. So it is a very important year when you have to do the Pariharam in a very systematic way so that you'll be able to come up very well in your life. So be happy and confident everything that is good will come unto you. Om Sarvaishwaryam Bhavantu. Om Sri Vikneshwaraya Namaha.